What is up guys, it's Serum and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having fun with the AFL Evolution Fan Hub demo because I know how badly you guys wanted to see the teams. Today I'm bringing you another AFL Evolution face scan episode, although today's will feature only retired players as those are the ones you are still unable to see in the game. I've got 12 player face scans to get through as well as a little something at the end of the video that I'd appreciate all of your input on. But that aside, let's get stuck into it. First up we have the ex-Kangaroo Spearhead and the man who holds the record for the most AFL games in Boomer Harvey. Harvey looks really good, I don't think I expected much else out of this one to be honest, I'm really happy with the way they've captured him, but it's just a shame he had to retire. I still wonder what capacity the retired players will be used in though, and that's a question yet to be answered, but all in all a really good head scan for Harvey there. Next up and we have ex-Carlton player Andrew Walker. Walker was one of my favourite players when he played and was also so exciting to see when running out of defence. They've done him a good likeness from his hair all the way down to his slanted eyebrow. A good job on that one too in my opinion, but I'll let you all be the judge of it. Um, he isn't the only Carlton player that has retired, um, but I will get another one out to you eventually. Next, and we are on to the ex-Collingwood player in Alan Tuvi. Tuvi just recently retired from active competition, but it's still pretty cool to see him captured in an in-game model. He has his hair, facial hair details, and all the rest, which helps bring the model together, and there isn't a complaint about this one at all. It is a shame that some of the players who currently play don't have face scans while a bunch of retired players do, especially if they won't be in the game. But that aside, we are moving on to ex-Adelaide player Nathan Van Burlo. Van Berlo was probably as versatile a player as there's ever been who was able to play all around the ground and do it effectively. Really like the way Van Berlo looks too, perhaps with the solitary criticism that his hair is not as blonde as I remember it. Still a good likeness though, but not sure whether all the retired player head scans are completed or were abandoned. Now onto the next face scan and we have Port Adelaide's Jay Schultz. I'm not too impressed with Schultz's player as he looks more generic than some of the other head scans. Probably my least favourite likeness, uh, but taking into account that most of the players in this episode will likely not be in the game in a big capacity, and you can understand why attention to detail may be lacking. Interesting to see how it looks when the game is completed though. Moving on and we have ex Bulldog Utility in Jed Adcock. Adcock spent time at both the Bulldogs and the Lions over the course of his career and the head scan closely resembles his appearance in recent seasons. No complaints about Adcock, feel free to pause the video if you'd like to get a closer look at each player. It's a good likeness all in all though and definitely not a disappointing one. Next up though and we have the ex-Brisbane football player in Daniel Merritt. Merritt is sporting an orange beard and shaved head and closely resembles the actual player. I think they've done a good job with him too so I don't really have much criticism for it all. Um, the attention to his detail in his head scan is very good and I think you'll all appreciate that one too. Uh, but now we are putting that one aside and next up we have ex-Bulldog Big Man in Will Minson. Minson's likeness is also a really good one with his hair and chiseled facial structure captured in all its glory. He has a very prominent cheekbone definition which is exactly how Minson looks so no complaints in that department at all. Overall it is a good head scan and a good likeness to Big Will. Um, one of my favourite big men when he played so it's really cool to see how he would look in the game. Next up, and we have one of the most seasoned ex-players from the Sydney Football Club in Ben McGlynn. McGlynn shares a remarkable likeness with the actual player and has that rounded rough face that everyone remembers him for. Not a lot of facial hair in this one, but that aside, the pigmented skin and jaw definition is exactly what I think of when I think of Benny McGlynn. Good one there also. Now next up we have ex St Kilda player in Sam Fisher. Not a huge fan of the way this one looks as he looks remarkably old and maybe a little intoxicated but then again I do have some high standards for having looked at these face scans for days on end. Not too bad at all uh, but likely won't feature in the complete game. That's all from the St Kilda Football Club but now we are moving on and we have ex Collingwood and Melbourne forward in Chris Dawes. Dawes is sporting a rough beard and his well-kempt hair and has an enormous amount of detail in his skin and facial structure. No real issues with this head scan, did enjoy him in his prime and it's good to see him looking so good in the game. I'm not sure if this is the only Melbourne retiree but if there are some other ones I may get them out to you as well. 
Now, last but not least, we have ex St Kilda and North Melbourne gun in Nick Del Santo. Nicky Dale shares a striking resemblance with Del Santo in real life, and I think they've done him a good likeness overall. He's a little bit pale, but no real complaints about it, as I can still tell who it's meant to be, and that's what constitutes a good player face scan. That does unfortunately bring us to the end of the face scans, but now I'd like to move on to something I like to call player corrections. So last night, as I was looking through the generic players in the AFL Fan Hub demo, I came across a number of players who I felt didn't share a great likeness with the player they were meant to depict. So, as I do, I set out to correct some of them. Um, I have three players in the Hawthorne Football Club and have my version compared with Wicked Witch's version on the screen. They are not the best by any means and are nowhere near face scan quality, but I feel I did some of the players a good justice. If this is something you'd like to see from me in future videos, please feel free to request some player corrections and I'll see if I can string together a series of some sort. That's all I wanted to share with you today guys, I hope you're having a tremendous Thursday. The AFL Evolution gameplay trailer shouldn't be too far off now, so it's exciting times for us all. As always, give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me, I'm always open to requests and no pun intended. That's all from me today guys, I hope you're all as excited as I am, make sure you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you later.